In March of last year, I decided to switch back to Colmac after a long hiatus of using QWERTY. I've been back using Colmac for the past year and a few months, so I've decided that by popular demand, I'm going to make a video about my experiences using Colmac over a long period of time. So here we go. First, let's talk about how well I've adjusted to Colmac. To use an analogy from language learning, I feel that I'm effectively fluent in Colmac, so much so that I don't even really think of myself as a Colmac user anymore. I just sit down at any one of my keyboards and start writing using the layout. It just feels normal to me, and it's become a part of everyday life. It's hard for me to say when I got to this level of fluency, since obviously I was constantly getting better and better, but I think between six months to a year is probably a realistic time frame to become fluent in Colmac. Next, let's talk about the detail that everyone seems to be interested in. How fast have I gotten at typing since switching to Colmac? Well, the truth is, I wouldn't switch to Colmac just to improve your typing speed, since not everyone experiences any sort of gain. That said though, my typing speed has actually improved quite significantly over the past year, these past few months especially. According to 10 Fast Fingers, I am now able to type at 90 words per minute, 95 at a push, whereas with QWERTY, I was only able to hit around 70 words per minute, it's a pretty substantial increase that only seems to be getting better. Let's hope that in another year, I'll be able to push past the 100 words per minute mark. Next, let's talk about what is, to me, one of the most significant reasons to switch to Colmac, typing comfort. Frankly, typing with Colmac is a far more comfortable experience than typing with QWERTY. It's also far less likely to cause repetitive strain injury. Before switching to Colmac, I was able to loudly crack my knuckles. From time to time, I still can, but not nearly as frequently or as loudly. I take that as a sign of Colmac improving the overall health of my hands. At any rate, I'm now not worried about developing RSI. Next, let's talk about some of the issues I've experienced using Colmac. Luckily, there aren't many, and none of them are particularly severe. The main issue that people seem to be worried about is using other people's PCs. I can understand why that worries people. After all, not being able to type on any computer that's not your own would be disastrous. And frankly, the only time that I ever think of myself as a Colmac user is when I'm using someone else's PC. However, I can still type with QWERTY. It just takes a few moments to get used to it and doesn't feel nearly as good as Colmac. If you were wondering, by the way, I can still type at 60 words per minute using QWERTY. So if you're thinking of switching to Colmac, I wouldn't be worried about not being able to use other people's computers. Although, to be perfectly honest, it's very rare that I actually have to use QWERTY. All Macs have the option to use Colmac right out of the box, albeit without the caps lock key remap to backspace, and Windows machines can use Colmac using a simple program that can be carried around on a USB stick. It can be run without admin access too. So, I think being in a situation where you absolutely cannot use Colmac is something that's going to be very rare indeed. Another issue that people expect to have is incompatibility with keyboard shortcuts. Personally, I've never experienced this as an issue. To be sure, a lot of keyboard shortcuts are different with Colmac, but none of them are necessarily bad. Plus, the bottom row is mostly left the same with Colmac, which is where most of the keyboard shortcuts are. So, if you're going to switch to Colmac, you will probably have to relearn some shortcuts but don't expect them to be in terrible positions. In fact, if you've ever used a web browser with Colmac, you'll know that sometimes Colmac keyboard shortcut placement can be better. For instance, creating a new tab is right on the home row, as it should be. Now we've talked about my experiences using Colmac over the past year, 
Let's talk about the future of my Colmac usage. In short, I think I'll keep using Colmac. I found absolutely no reason to stop doing so, since it's been so beneficial to me. Any reason I could come up with not to use Colmac is largely imagined on my part. Something else of note that I'd like to add here is that I have actually looked at other, arguably more efficient, keyboard layouts such as Workman and Colmac DH. I've even thought once or twice about taking a look at Dvorak. However, the problem with switching to a more obscure layout is that generally less devices support it. I couldn't type on my free write at all if I switched to Workman, for example. Even using other people's machines would become more of a hassle. For example, as I said earlier, Macs have Colmac built in, but they don't have Workman built in. Plus, there's obviously a learning curve involved. Both of these things make it not really worthwhile for me to switch to another layout when there isn't really a huge gain involved like there is when switching from QWERTY to Colmac. With that said though, I think it's now time to bring this video to a conclusion. Overall, I'm glad that I made the switch to Colmac all those months ago. My typing experience has become far more comfortable and faster as a result. It took a lot of effort to get here to be sure, but considering the fact I'll probably be using Colmac for the rest of my life, or at least until I start using a brain-computer interface, I think it'll be worthwhile. Whether or not it's worth it for other people to make the switch to Colmac is going to depend on the person. As I alluded to earlier, there is a steep learning curve involved with switching keyboard layouts. So, if you don't type all that often, then it probably won't be worth it. However, if you're someone who does a lot of writing like me, then even a small optimization is worth a lot of effort. So, if you're a typist or something like that, then you should 100% make the switch to Colmac. That said though, that's it for today's video. What did you think of it? I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.